Today, sir, Lord, today we are going to see what are the six ways to show our generosity. Only not in the words, we have to show our generosity in the deeds. First John 2, 17, 18 says, Now suppose a person has enough to live on and notices another believer in need. How can God's love be in that person if he does not bother to help the other believer? So if we say you are godly, then you should have to show that godliness outwardly by helping the believer who is in the need. Dear children, we must show love through action that are sincere, not through empty words. So always we'll shatter the empty words, but never do. That is wrong. That is not showing generosity. To show generosity means you must show love through actions that are sincere, not through empty words. Let us see what are the six ways the Bible shares to show our generosity. First one is bearing burden. Second one is showing forgiveness. Third one is seeking concord. Fourth one is helping the tempted. Fifth one, encouraging the weak. And the last uh, seven, sixth one is not finding fault with everybody always. Um, so let us see the bearing burden. Is this, uh, this is both um, bearing the spiritual help and physical need also. So Galatians 6, 2 to 4 says, um, help carry other, bur other, other each other's burdens. Help carry, because our brother is carrying a burden. He cannot carry, he's tumbling down. So help him to carry that burden. That may be either spiritual help or the physical money need or um, uh, whatever may be the need. Um, in this way, you will follow Christ's teaching because Jesus Christ came to the world um, and uh, carry our burden, carry our sin on himself um, and took the infirmity, took the condemnation on himself, um, which we have to take. Um, so since we are um, forgiven by Lord Jesus Christ, um, we should also carry each other's burden. So if any of you think you are important, what you are really not, you are not, you are not only fooling, you are fooling yourself. Um, each of you must examine your own actions, how to examine your own action by spiritually helping and help have physically helping the need of the, your bird or your brother who was carrying that burden. Assume your own responsibility by that um, because sacrifice, this type of sacrifice is pleasing to God. Hebrews 13, 16 says, don't forget to do good things for others um, and to share what you have with them. Um, these are the kinds of sacrifice that pleases God. So let us do the sacrifice and please God by bearing the burden of others. Um, next th thing is to show the generosity, is showing the forgiveness. Um, because the people in Corinth the church were having the um, uh, fight among themselves um, and certain people did mistake um, and those people are sent out of the church. Um, so now Paul is writing them to uh, you have to forgive these people and include them in your church and he's telling in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 words, the 1 to 10 if you forgive someone, so do I Indeed, what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, I did it in the presence of Christ for your benefit. Um, I don't want uh, Satan to outfit us. After all, we are not ignorant about Satan scheming. So if we're not going to forgive others um, and uh, restore your uh, uh, Christian fellowship, uh, Satan is going to put a scheme in between you because we are not ignorant of the Satan scheming because uh, the forgiving others um, is, is a spiritual cleansing. James chapter 5, 15, 16 says, prayers offered in faith will save others who are sick and and Lord will cure them. If we have sinned, you will be forgiven. So admit your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you will be healed. Show, forgive others, each other, um, confess your sin to each other and forgive each other. And the same way, pray for each other, carry the burden and um, God will certainly hear our prayer. Next to that thing is showing generosity, seeking concord. Um, that's what um, happened to two sisters who are called Eucardia and Cynthia. They have good uh, uh, fellowship. They are having the good ministry and they are doing spreading the gospel uh, vigorously and also doing the ministry with the Paul and also with another man called Clement. But now the problem is there's a misunderstanding between these two ladies. And now Paul is writing, encourage both Eodia and Sintikeya to have the attitude the Lord wants them to have because Don, the Lord does not want them to have that um, uh, discord always. Um, they have to seek the concordness um, by uh, restoring the fellowship. Uh, yes, I also ask you, my true partner, to help these women they are not able to uh, do that, help them to uh, come out of their discord, discord uh, and be called concord with each other, uh, having the good relationship with the Lord and also with them also, um, because our names are written in the book of life. Um, the third thing is the fourth thing is helping the tempted. Galatians 6, 1 says, um, if 
to see some brothers or sisters a person get trapped by wrong doing so what you have to do those of you who are spiritually uh, strong should help that person turn away from doing wrong that is very very important um, those who are spiritually strong have to go to them and help them to turn away from the doing wrong in doing though doing it in gentle way otherwise if we started to condemn them you cannot uh, turn them from their um, wrong doing instead you started to condemn them judge them and start to spread this um, wrong of the, the wrong doings what that person was doing to the other people in that way we are also going to be tempted so we should be very careful we are all now not, not to be tempted in the same way we should help um, uh, the people who are trapped in the wrong doing to come out of that and turn away from the wrong doing this is showing this is the fourth way of generosity what's the fifth way of showing the generosity is encouraging the weak um, because those people who accept jesus christ as a new believer they have so many weakness in their faith um, they they are having so many doubt also since they are not well versed in the word of god uh, they are following their own traditions own background um, it will take some time for them to be mature in the word of god and come out of their superstitious ideas uh, until that time we have to encourage them we should not um, have a argument over that uh, opinion difference of opinion that's what roman 14:1 says welcome people who are weak in faith uh, but don't get into an argument over difference of opinion for example some people believe that can, that they can eat all kind of food other people will other people with weak faith believe that they can only vegetables so there is no, what we are going to eat is not very important what is coming out of your mouth is very important that's what bible says and jesus christ teaches but they don't know the word of god in, in detail since they are having uh, that um, uh, weak faith um, we should not uh, have an argument over the difference of opinion instead of them uh, welcome those people because uh, if you find fault and put them um, um, fault and criticize each other instead uh, don't criticize each other instead you should uh, decide never to do anything that will make other christians have doubts or lose their faith um, so don't criticize each other instead of that um, what you have to do is that um, uh, show them the correct way and uh, don't tell that um, you uh, brother you have a um, great uh, um, so think that that what jesus christ is telling also um, don't find fault on the other people in the same way uh, judge, don't judge others because you are going to be judged in the same way you have what we have judged others so we have to encourage the weak instead of criticizing them sixth thing to uh, to show the generosity is not to find a fault um, to finding fault is a very bad and if you find the fault um, you are putting the stumbling block before the uh, by your brother and he is going to lose his faith because of your fault finding so first of all uh, rectify your fault then try to rectify other fault so no need to so sixth way of showing uh, the generosity is not to find a fault um, there is there is another lady who is following all this generosity her name is dorcas um, and her name uh, is tabitha and his greek name was dorcas she, she always helped the people and gave things to the poor she became sick and died her body was prepared for burial and was laid on the upstairs room so at that time they the people are very much worried then they sent information to peter and the peter came from japa and they saw that uh, all the ladies around them were crying and showing them the articles of the clothing that the darkers has made while she was still with them they were crying and showing all these things so peter made everything leave the room he knelt and prayed then he turned towards the body and said tabitha get up tabitha opened her eyes saw peter and sat down peter took her hand and helped her stand up and after he called the believers especially the widows he presented tabitha to them she was she was alive so we have, we have to show this this kindness and generosity and helping others as the darkers the tabitha did so if you do that the tabitha went to through the death bed also she died also but she was recovered because the people who got from help from her um, also helped her in the same way when we do all generous and do follow all these six steps um, when we have sickness when we have the from some problem in our life uh, other people certainly help us to come out of that uh, and help us to do our god's will in our life also so don't think that the showing generosity is only for others actually you are showing generosity to others in such way you get the generosity from god you get the mercy from god so let us uh, follow the six ways of generosity and uh, fulfill the god's will in our life i'll pray for you thank you lord thank you to lord thank you for showing that um, um that six way of generosity help holy spirit help us to do that in our life in the name of jesus amen god bless you